Hello there. I'm Chris Bolton, and I'm delighted to celebrate 100 years of insulin with you. Sanofi has been at the forefront of diabetes management for nearly a century, and we are honoured to play a part in this milestone celebration. As someone with a daughter who lives with type 1 diabetes, I'm very thankful for the advances in treatment over the last 100 years. And going forward, my hope is that there will be a cure in her lifetime. It's my pleasure to introduce you to three people living with type 1, whose combined ages equal 100. They all came together to share their views on living with diabetes 100 years after the discovery of insulin. I know everyone looks to me for what's changed over the years in diabetes, but Kat, I'm really curious. What's changed for you since your diagnosis? I'd say the biggest change has been the technology. Everything's gotten faster and more advanced and smaller, which is amazing because 12 years ago, everything was super chunky and they didn't have as many functions as the devices do now. I definitely agree with Kat that the technology has improved over the past couple years. Um, one of the main improvements, I think, is that two devices can talk to each other. So a change nobody could have predicted is social media. When I first got type 1 at 18, I did not know anyone with diabetes until I was 40. That must have been crazy. 22 years. Whereas today, we're online, people have diabetes, are sharing their stories, answering each other's questions. It's remarkable. So really, there's a community there. No one has to feel alone. You know, we all want a cure, that's for sure. But in case there isn't, what improvement would make a big difference for you that would come out in the next 10 years? Maybe not having to dose yourself. Maybe it like technology recognizing that you've eaten something and doing it for you. I would take a very small uh, change that I think would mean a lot. Um, faster, smarter insulins. I would like my insulin to be able to, to go to work right away, the way it does in a normal body. I would love to see a successful closed loop um, within the next 10 years and that would entail also having faster insulin um, because I want something that's going to be close to a cure, maybe not a cure, but I want to at least feel normal again. It's amazing. We're all different ages, we each have our own experiences, and we've learned a lot from each other today. So here's to 100 years of insulin and here's to everyone who lives with diabetes.